Hey, what's good everybody? I am Jay. I'm here with Mixwave and today I'm going to show you how to route contact instruments in Logic Pro. Let's go. Alright guys, here we are in Logic Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open contact on our instrument track. Alright, we have some options here. So since today I'm doing a drum kit which is a multi timbre instrument and I want to route some of those mono outputs. So I'm going to go with 8 stereo and 8 mono. Okay, here we are in contact. Now the first thing you wanna do is set up your output routing. That's this section down here. If you don't see this, you can go right up here, hit this button here, and make sure outputs is checked. That should bring you to this screen right here. Now yours may look a little bit different. You might have uh, surround and some other things there, but we're gonna get rid of all that anyway. First thing we're gonna do is hit this plus button right here. And first I'm gonna make my eight stereo channels. So we're gonna hit under quantity we're gonna put eight and number of channels we're gonna leave it at two that's gonna make the stereo channel and we want to go under here under host output and you want to hit that very first one make sure ascending output assignment is checked and you want to hit delete existing channel before creating new ones that's gonna delete this first stereo channel here and just allow all of the channels to create themselves in succession all right now we're gonna hit okay so as you can see, it created our eight stereo channels, all right? Next, I wanna make my mono channels. So we're gonna go right back to the plus button. We're gonna hit eight for quantity. We're gonna change the number of channels to one. Now under host output, you're gonna go back here. And what you're gonna do now instead is you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you should see these last eight channels here. It should say aux one. It may say something different, but the last eight channels that you see here after the stereo channels, you wanna hit that first one. You wanna leave ascending output assignment checked. Now, but however, this time we do not wanna hit delete its existing channels. Leave that unchecked. You're gonna hit okay. All right, as you can see, we have our eight stereo channels. And as I scroll through, we have our eight mono channels as well. So what I recommend you do at this point, especially if you're routing drums, is you wanna name these channels. That's gonna really help you out when you're routing things later. So what I'm gonna do is, for stereo one, I'm gonna just name this kit. And I'm just gonna name it kit because anything that I choose to just leave in that main stereo field, I want to go there. For stereo two, let's say I wanna name that room. And let's say for stereo three, I wanna name that overhead. OH. Now I'm going to come down here to mono. I'm going to name this kick. I'm going to name mono 10 snare. I won't do all of these just for sake of time. We'll just name this one hat. So the next thing you want to do is save this as your default setting. So we're going to go right here and we're going to click this save current output section state as default and we wanna hit all formats. So now that we've done that, we wanna go ahead and open our instrument. Today, I'm using Thomas Pridgen drums from Mixwave. So if you're using multiple contact instruments, you can just go ahead and route those through the stereo channels. But since we're doing a drum kit today, I wanna to route each drum piece through its own channel. So we're gonna utilize more of the mono tracks. Let me show you. All right, so here in Thomas Pridgen drums, I'm gonna go ahead and start routing these drums. I'm gonna to go to the mixer, and I'm gonna route my kick to the kick, that first mono channel, snare to snare, and I'll go ahead and route the hi-hat. Now back in our output view, you can see as I hit the drums, everything is coming through its own separate channel. Now the audio you see coming through the kit channel, that's the overheads and the room mics that are still coming in. I'm gonna leave those there for now, but let's continue with routing our snare, our kick, and our hi-hat. So we have our kick, snare, hi-hat coming through their own output on the plugin. But now what we need to do is route them through channels in Logic Pro. So back here in our Logic Mixer view, you can see on our instrument track, we have a plus button. So I'm gonna hit that and it creates aux channels related to the instrument track. So I'm gonna hit that three times for kick, snare, and hi-hat. And what I'll do is right here where you can see the output number of our output section from contact, You'll see contact three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are our stereo channels that we made, but I want the mono channels that we made for the kick, snare, and hi-hat. So I'm gonna click on contact three and four. I'm gonna go to instrument one, which is contact for us, and you'll see all of our outputs. Now they're not named here. Logic does not name them in this section of the mixer. However, from memory, I know that 
my first mono channel is 17. That's our kick. So let's click that and we should see our kick coming through there. Now I'm gonna do the same with the snare and the hi-hat. So here, five and six, I'll go to instrument one. Wanna make this 18, that should be our snare. Perfect. And the next one I'll go to, that should be our hi-hat. So we'll go to instrument one and we'll go to 19, should be our hi-hat. Boom. This is perfect because now I can add my own compressors, my own EQ, we can add reverb separately to each piece of the drum even though it's all a part of one contact instrument. And so like I said, you can also route your room tracks, you can route your overheads and that's great for things like parallel compression and it just opens up just the world of possibilities for you. All right guys, and that's how you route contact instruments in Logic Pro. If this video helps you out, leave a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, be sure to write a comment. We'll get back to you in the comments. Be sure to subscribe as well for other tutorials like this and for all of our plugins and all of our effects that we have. Check out our other videos. And until next time, I'm Jay, peace.